Welcome back to LearnWire. Today we're going to be taking a look at Beacon. And Beacon is a way to boost conversion rates and generate more leads with lead magnets. So this is cool, interesting concept here and product uh, a little bit outside of the SEO space and the um, content generation space and uh, those kind of tools that I usually review. Uh, but I'd like to uh, dive into some other types of tools, marketing, uh, teaching online. Uh, I'll, I'll probably do a couple of reviews on some of the course platforms because there's a lot of those on AppSumo right now as well. I'm considering purchasing one. Uh, so stay tuned. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Turn those notification bells on so you don't miss out on my next reviews. I'll probably be reviewing Heights next, uh, which just came out on the platform and it is a course uh, platform to build a course on, uh, like Thinkific or Teachable. Uh, but without obviously getting the lifetime deal, uh, you won't have to pay the monthly hundred dollars a month for those other platforms. So stay tuned for those. Uh, let's dive into beacon today. It starts at $79. It looks like it has some pretty good reviews, not quite five tacos, but 129 reviews. How long um, has this been on uh, the alternative? I have heard of designer before this can create lead magnets. It can create eBooks, um, with stunning, uh, graphics and things like that. So uh, there's a template based. We're going to go dive in and check this out. This is best for marketers without design skills looking to generate more leads and increase conversion rates in less time. Uh, so hopefully you'll be able to save time creating this lead man magnet or ebook uh, that you're going to be giving out to people in exchange for their email ad address or something like that. Uh, now you could go out and design this in Photoshop or hire someone to do it, which is going to cost a few hundred bucks to get that done. Um, if you outsource it and then also you could use Canva uh, to create this as well, but it's just going to take a lot more time. And so hopefully we can discover that beacon is going to save us time, uh, with creating our lead magnet. Okay. And like you can say, you can use this for checklists, workbooks, eBooks, um, all kinds of good stuff. I like to come down and check out just this sales page real quick. It looks good. Uh, what are you going to get with this? Uh, lead magnet creator, lead capture forms, unlimited lead magnets, all lead magnet formats, uh, blog post recycle. And I don't know what that is, but analytics, smart PDF, PDF download, remove beacon logo, full template library, custom brand styles, create your own template, email marketing integrations. So that's really cool. And we'll check out, hopefully we'll be able to discover which ones they integrate with. Uh, hopefully a Weber get response, uh, the, all those kind of popular ones, custom domain name. Uh, so you get one user and one domain. Uh, so actually I'm kind of uh, interested in how do they use domains inside of here? You can actually link up a domain. That's cool. A hundred domains. If you're going to get serious about lead magnets or you're an agency, I mean, it just makes sense to probably buy the third tier because then you can just, um, outsource this and you can actually offer this as a service. You could sell this service on Fiverr or create your own business around selling these lead magnets, creating the lead magnets and selling them. Um, and you know, obviously if you have unlimited domains and team accounts and such, then you'll be able to do a lot more, uh, 25 users. So it looks like you're probably going to go up in users. Um, let's see right here. What is the different codes? Okay. A hundred users on the f tier four tier three is, um, is the 25 users. Okay. Sounds good. And looks like April 28th and today is April 29th. So this literally just came out yesterday. Wow. Okay. So here we go. It's been a few years since our last LTD. So we're delighted to bring some lead magnet fun back to AppSumo. So they've been on the platform. Beacon has changed a lot since our first deal back in 2016. Okay. So they're not new to AppSumo, but it has been four, five, six years. Okay. Um, the breakdown of each tool, they have the lead magnet creator, lead capture and resource library. Okay. Um, increased conversion. They have uh, people that have increased their conversion rates by 300% generated 900 leads in 10 days, saved 70 hours of time. Okay. So perfect. And we have some people already leaving feedback. Uh, looks like we've got some really strong feedback, some really, really, really good scores and so forth. Okay. So let's go jump in real quick. So here is their website. I like to always go to the actual website of the company, see how legit they are. If they don't even have a website operating, then I usually try to pass on the product. You should at least have a website and, um, and already be thinking about how you're going to grow your business when your uh, AppSumo product is uh, launches over, right? You want these companies to stick around and to be putting in money into advertising and to continue growing their product. And so you like to see that um, so far, just kind of looking at their site it looks, looks clean, uh, professional, 
They have some people used by marketers at more than 50,000 businesses. Uh, it looks like Samcart has used them in Printful and HubSpot and DreamHost. Um, so those are some big names that have used these. Uh, use this product to create lead magnets and such. Here's some case study people, success stories, and look at all the different things. Featured list, so it's a drag and drop, um, helper content, let's see, smart PDF, brand styles, okay, pre-made templates, good, good stuff. Okay, so here we are right here. Um, and then what I like to do is I'm gonna go to some content and see if they get traffic. Now look at this. At one point they were peaking at, you know, 164,000 monthly visitors. Um, they've stayed, they had a, a dip and then they've picked back up without being on AppSumo, which is good. So they've got a strong 120, 112,000 people coming to their site per month. Um, a low bounce rate. People are visiting six pages on average and, um, uh, the average visit duration uh, almost seven minutes. So this is a uh, very United States heavy, almost 50%, super, super cool. So they've got very strong traffic base and uh, just kind of tells you direct, people are going directly to it, they've got referrals. So this is a real business, a real company, okay? So let's go and check out Beacon. I just signed up for an account and now I need to choose my product. We're gonna go with lead magnet, um, but you can do lead capture form and so forth. So we've got blank resource guides. Uh, let's look um, at what we wanna do. Video, um, workbook, blank ebook, checklist, um, email templates. Um, that's actually really, really cool. You could give away any of these as a lead magnet. Let's give away an ebook, which is the classic, what a lot of people do. Some people like to recycle blog content into their lead magnets. Um, yes, no. So right now we're going to say no, but you uh, sounds like you can use your blog in order to kind of gather information from your blog posts to create an ebook, which is cool. But I'm going to say no on this one. Choose a template. So, so far, um, very intuitive, very um, kind of wizard. You're, you're doing a wizard to get to this point. Um, and I really like the steps to get to this point. It's just super, super straightforward, straight, uh, straight up easy to get to this point. So, so far, really, really liking that. Um, and so here we go. Get started with these professional designs. So blogging, business, coaching, consulting, work, book, seasonal Thanksgiving type, marketing agencies, real estate, food, health and fitness, nature, Christmas, Halloween, retail, and e-commerce. So they got all the most popular ones in there. So let's go and say we are going to be talking about make money online. So it would probably be business, blogging, marketing agencies. I'm just going to select business and see what kind of templates we have in here. So this is kind of where you're going to see the template. So I kind of like this one right here. It looks pretty cool um, right here. This one looks good too with the trophy, um, five resources that should you should check out and so forth. Um, I'm going to show you guys more templates. Let's go with uh, blogging. Um, I also like this one. That was super, super cool. And that one's pretty nice looking as well. Professional. You got this one over here. There's that one that crosses over to business. Um, these ones cross over to business too. I want to go look at marketing agency real quick. Okay. So a lot of them kind of cross over. I see what it's doing. It's kind of doing a, a filter based. It's like if we go to type type based, um, check out food. Oh, we need to uncheck. Sorry. We need to uncheck these. So type based. Yeah, there you go. So that's really cool. Look at the, the font is very fancy. Um, right there. That's cool. I like that one as well. Super crisp and clean, just white with black text. Um, we're going to go back and look at the marketing agencies right here. Food. There's some really good food ones. Those look really good. So there's not a lot. Uh, so that's my first, uh, initial reaction is that there's not a ton of these templates uh, in here, but enough to get started and, and change out, uh, definitely change out what you're doing. But um, I think we will go with... Yeah, for fun. Let's go with this one. All right. So this one, uh, I already went into article forge. I don't know if I need to create the content or not, but I went into article forge already and had uh, something written for us. So best ways to make money online as a beginner. Of course, that's a great lead magnet. That's what uh, people are coming to one of my YouTube channels. If they're brand new and they're trying to start out making money online, what better way than to just give them a book about um, the best way to get started. So we're going to use that as our title, create lead magnet here. And we're just going taking you through the steps real quick. So you have a plain cover, um, the title of your ebook here. So I'm not really sure why that it didn't take our, it didn't take our um, title that we just put in already, but that's okay. We're going to go and check out. So here's the table of contents. Um, here's our introduction. This is the main text area and this is where you would. Okay. And then you have full um, 
You can change the text color, multi, font, uh, link colors. So here's what we want to do about the author. Um, wow, this is really, really cool. Okay, so because we could go in here, change this image out. We're going to upload the image. Okay, so it's processing the image upload. I just uploaded a picture of myself. That's really cool. And then we would just change this out. Um, super, super cool. And then I can just push um, exit out of that. We can just push save. Every time you do something, push save. So if you have a quote to put in here, we'll just leave the Bruce Lee one in there right now. Uh, chapter one title goes here. And then that's where you'll add the pages. Okay, so what do we got? Um, cover right here. This is the title of your book. I'm not really sure again why it didn't just um, put the title in best ways to make money online as a beginner. We're going to change the logo out real quick. Okay. So now I'm going to upload, grab that logo and there you go. Now, can we make this bigger border style? Um, let's see. I wanted to see if inside here we can actually make, let's see what the border. Oh, so here's the width. We can actually make the logo bigger now. Okay, perfect. We just want a little like that. Best ways to make money online as a beginner. And we could change the image out here. You can upload an image. Now, I thought that there was assets. I thought that we would be able to have something in here that are asset based that we could switch this out real quick, real quick like. But we'll just leave it the way it is right now. Background color. So we're at a plain color or a gradient, a background color. Obviously, we're at this kind of red color. Maybe we want to go into like a bluish color, maybe. Ooh, that looks good. Okay, so we're going to go with that. And it's saving automatically for us, so that's good. And then that's the page settings. What's over here? Document settings. So we have header and footer override, show header on all pages, show footer on all pages. So you can actually check box those. Default styles, you can change all the styles in here. So the design is really, really uh, good. You can make all the designs. This is kind of like your master um, slide designer, if you will. Um, this is where you can put your title in, okay? Drag and drop. So if we wanted to put um, a, a button over here, uh, for example, uh, we wanted to add in a button right here. We could add a button in. Oh, okay, so here's our button. And then you can go and actually change it, change the link. Uh, we can come in here and we can align this in the center. We can change the color of it. We can change the font. We can make it bigger, um, square. We can make it round. So there's different things you can do right there. I'm going to just trash that. And uh, you have text that you can add in here, dividers, spacers. So all these de different design elements, you can add in a page number. So you can uh, add in your social sharing. So you can just basically do anything that you would want to do inside of here. Super, super cool. We're going to leave it the way it is right now. We're going to go back up here. And then what we're going to do is we are going to go into the intro. So we have our article. I'm going to go and open up our article. So you are going to need content to bring in here. It's not like an artificial intelligence um, writer or something like that. Um, it did add an image in here for us. But um, here's our um, content right here. It's like an intro. So we'll come back over to Beacon. And here's our introduction. I'm going to go ahead and just paste this in or push delete. Maybe where's our text? Not really sure why it's not deleting. Let's go check this out. If a text editor in here, you can add links, lists, all that good stuff. I'm going to see if I can paste this as plain text. All right. So if you're a newbie to the online world, you might be wondering how to make money. Uh, there are several ways. Okay, perfect. And then right here, you could just put your name. Obviously, you can change the uh, type. It's signed as like a cursive, but you can change this um, up here with fonts if you wanted to. So your introduction page is done. Now we could, we can leave that blue. We can leave this red. I'm going to just leave the color, um, but, um, we're, but you can change the color on any page if you want to as well. So we're going to exit out of intro and we're going to go back up here. And then we're going to go down here. We just need to go add new page. And this new page is going to be, wow, they have all these boxes inside of here. Um, right here, if you wanted to do a checklist page, um, you could use this. What is a good one for just text on the page? This one looks good if you have a video to put in your book. If you want to share some of your videos from your channel. So we're going to go with this, the text um, plain page. Okay. And then we're going to come back over here and we're going to grab this content marketing. So you can use content marketing to make money. 
there's content marketing. Then we would come back into here and grab maybe an introduction and bring that over into here real quick. Right click, paste plain text, come back over here. So as you can see, within an hour, we could have a really nice book uh, created for us and just like that. So now you have that page right there. Uh, obviously you can add links, you can add images, anything you want to do in here. I'm going to go back, um, back up here, and then we'll just add one more page and I'll do this real fast. And actually I like the formatting right here, guys, and it seems to change when we use the add new template, but then the, it, it kind of automatically uh, changed this uh, font for us. And I like that. I'm going to push save exit and then what you can do is I'm going to delete this page here and then what I'm going to do is grab this one that I like and just duplicate the page and then right here we can go in and freelance writing so we've got freelance writing I'm going to grab the content here obviously read through your content make sure it's good and so forth so then you would just repeat this process and get your whole book out right there I'm going to push save we're going to come back up here to the table of contents and right here, I'm not really sure. I think we might have to um, update the terms of the table of contents. And I don't know if it automatically updates for us or not. But at the very end of the day, you can preview, you can publish, and you can the autosave is on. You can turn that on and off. So preview. Come over here and we'll take a look at our book. So we've got the best ways to make money online as a beginner. There's the book cover for us. Table of contents. Okay, perfect. Yeah, it does um, only the stuff that we actually did do something to. We're going to keep the quote in there. Call to action. Obviously, we want to change the titles of those. And we want to change the title of those pages right there. But we have the table of contents. And here's our introduction. Um, if you're a newbie to the online world, and then we have our signature. And it just looks super professional about the author. And right here, you're going to put uh, something about yourself. Boom. And then maybe a quote, that, maybe your favorite quote I would put right there. And then chapter title goes here, short description um, of the chapter. So we need to uh, keep that one in mind. And then your call to action, this is where you really want to take them to uh, your consultation service, uh, your website, the biggest call to action that you want uh, your customers to go to. It's going to be right here. Uh, wow, I'm impressed. This is uh, very professionally done. Um, I can see how if someone puts something like this together for you, they do charge four or 500 bucks to do something like this for you. So uh, you could actually charge this as a service. This looks really, really cool. So content marketing, um, and then we have that, you know, tips page. We probably want to fill this in a little bit more or make the font bigger. So I want to go back in there and just see if we went into this uh, page right here. We can put an image in here. We can go uh, change the margins right here. Okay, so once you click into each box, we're going to highlight all this text right here, and we are going to make this bigger text. I'm going to make that 25, just enough to where it stays on the page. And we're going to go 23 right there. Save. Then I want to go preview again. Scroll down. Much better. Looks a lot better with the, with the larger font. It fills the page out. Content marketing, it makes it look like it's a lot longer of content. Maybe we would change the margin down here or make this make it um, like 23. But that looks really, really good. Freelance writing and so forth. So uh, overall, this is uh, definitely a product I would recommend picking up uh, if you need to build out lead magnets. Now, I can't show you everything that we could do inside of here. I'm going to click home. You can uh, sounds like you can build landing pages. You can connect your account here. Uh, there's so many other things that we can do. Account settings, resource library, lead capture forms. Let's go click that real quick. Create new form. We can use a beacon resource that we already created in here. We can select this. Content upgrade, uh, link lock, inline form, horizontal bar, pop-up delay. You could actually make this a pop-up on your site or a horizontal bar. Uh, let's see right here. Let's go horizontal bar. So it's going to look like this. Free resource. We made this lead magnet for you. Wow. You can put this, embed this code on your website, and when they click on it, let's just title it the same as our book. So this would be for your website. You can uh, adjust paragraphs, buttons, containers, layouts. So this is the trigger. If they click on the button, then it will go um, here and it'll pop up. It's going to show you the book, download the resource, uh, first name, uh, email, send the resource. Um, then here's the thanks, the thank you page you can customize. Confirmation, they're actually going to get an email um, that also has a download link to it. 
integrations, uh, let's see, providers get started, add a new provider right here. So they do have, okay, so they have Drip, MailChimp, ConvertKit, ActiveCampaign, and MailerLite. They do not have Aweber and they do not have GetResponse. Um, maybe that's something that we could suggest to them, but that's enough to get started. Pretty good. You could go with MailChimp. Uh, they actually have a free, uh, you could get a free, a free account with them as well and then publish. Uh, really, really impressed with all that. Um, the, the fact that you can create the lead magnet in here and it's really, really nice looking, but then also you can do so much more. You can do the lead magnets, uh, capture forms, resource library. Don't know what that is. Let's go click on that real quick. Create a new library. Oh, okay. I like this. Choose a template. Each template can be customized. So this can also be one of your forms of lead magnets where you can actually give out your top resources. And then you could actually have each one of those as an affiliate link. So if you um, use one of these, let's say you have six of them right here. Um, you could also give one of your resources out that you created and put that on there as well. Or you can upload all your own. You can do URLs, uh, HubSpot files, HubSpot blog posts. Um, super cool. You can fill out. I'm just going to click this one for now. Continue. Create resource library. So we have our first one right here and then you could change your logo out um, and so forth. And then this is going to be um, once you fill this out with as many items as you want, you can have different categories. So it's almost like a miniature website that you could send people to after they sign up to your list. And then you're going to give all these resources out and they can be affiliate links. They can lead to more sales for you. But then also you're actually giving your best top recommended resources out uh, to people as well. Um, and then you can go preview it. And this is what it would look like. You would just send this uh, link right here would be your link and you could rebrand that link or something like that. And then this is what it would be right here. So, um, overall, very impressive tool um, that we have here with Beacon. Click the link below. This this will definitely be a recommended. Um, I could see how this could work um, very well for so many business uh, uses. Starting at seventy nine dollars, and the biggest difference between the tiers is the amount of users and domains that you can use. So if you're only using this for a one, you're a solopreneur, you have one website, obviously the single is going to work. If you want to expand that into multiple websites, then you need to go to double or the, th the three or four tier. Hope you guys enjoyed this uh, review. It was a long review, but I had a lot of fun checking out this tool. And I do think that this is something that um, I, it, it, it's making me have that urge to push the purchase button on this product because of how nice the um, the product looked after fooling around with it and all the things that you can actually do to integrate this to your website and with your emailing system. So hope you guys enjoyed this. Hit that uh, like button. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on my next review re uh, product reviews and tutorials. See you next time.